Okay. I think we're, we got most of it. What are we missing? What are we missing here? We don't have this one, do we? But we can make it. Without too much trouble. We'll need some more blank records. Why records? Because we can. Obviously. Wait, did we have some in here? No. Just double checking, you know. Gotta get them all. Hey, everybody. Vince Cameron from the GameCube. We're playing some All the Mod 7 to the Sky! Today, we're gonna take a look at hostile neural networks. I don't know how far we'll get, or how distracted we'll get, as per usual, but we'll definitely look into it. I also don't know if they have anything to do with the ATM star at the end, but it's a project that we've had on the list for some time, so we should probably knock it out, or at least, at the very least, get started. Any of those pulsating black holes? You know, just in case. Uh, again, we probably won't ever get around to actually making one, but, you know. How far did we get here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do we make endure emptiness? There it is. Fight for quiescence. Sure thing. Oh, yeah. We need, uh. We don't need this one. But we do need this one. I think this one is also the, um. The song we've heard many times. The Guy Guardian fight, I want to say. We'll need a black petal, which will come from. A black flower. No problem. Where we put our petals these days? In there? Turns out we had it all along. Well, that's fine. Boop! Nice. In the bin. Radiance. There's so many. This, of course, will be the Twilight Forest ones. Steps. We should always have music. Boop! Nice. Superstitious. Or actually out of raven feathers. This is where we're stymied. Stopped. Stopped at the end. That's fine. We've made great progress. Now, can we kick off a solar thingy? Just let me know if we can maybe do a solar thingy at this time. We're still wildly shy. Wildly shy. How many do you hold? With the diamond upgrade, they hold 12k. And we are actually backstuffing on them. We might need several. Good. Oh, good god. We can also start some of it to transition to the stuff. Hey, by the way, how much do you hold? You're probably okay. To keep getting some redstone. Yeah. Uh, what was the other thing we needed? Iron essence, silver ingots, and redstone. So iron, redstone, silver. Fire essence needs 97,000 fire essence. What is that for? I don't remember. The dirt essence as well. Did that make sand? I think that was sand. How are we doing? Uh, we never did actually set this up to import, did we? Because if we didn't need essence because of sand, behold, look, it's full. Stacks on stacks. We really don't need to import the last things, I guess. Oh, right, 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 right. That's because we're doing this. I somewhat hesitate to remove that, to be honest. It would take a long time to back stuff to gravel, but it will eventually. I think we need the essence for those, though, so it might be worthwhile to still just do it. And we'd output this one, this one, just these two for now, probably, actually. 
And I don't know which one it would backstuff first. That's okay, though. Uh, sure. So we'll make another ender chest. We'll just take the one out of there. Ender chest. Level white, white, white. Because that is the one we want. And a diamonde. Now we actually have two ways into this system. There is this one. But this one specifically goes into this set of drawers. This one specifically goes into this set of drawers. And then this one, the gray, 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 goes into the system directly, which would also go into the drawers. Hmm. So I guess we'd want, we could do the white, 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 because we're just doing this. These two specifically, and it would be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice and easy, then. Boop. Just making sure there's nothing in the generic one. Boop. It's ours. Great. And now I'll set you to outport, push to the top. There she goes. We'll also set you, push to the top. And then one of these will back stuff and get full, and then the other one will eventually do the thing. Cool, it's going. Uh, we're slowly acquiring too much stuff. Wonderful. Chuck this in here for now. Put our Game Boy aside. Doing good. Um, do you want to make some black hole tanks for this action? I honestly don't know. How dare you? We've cleared it out, but there's a lot. There's a lot. There's just a lot. We just got 70 levels. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, cool. Hostile Neural Networks. Let's take a look. So, first thing we need is a simulation chamber. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's follow the quest line. There's thermal as well. True. We've got a lot to still do. Hostile Neural Networks. Welcome. Uh-huh. Simulating mob kills for loot. The mob model is based around collecting data on mobs, then running simulations from the data to output potential drops from the mob's loot pools. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Model framework for gathering data. We'll need one of these. Model frameworks are the starting point for creating data models. To start collecting data on specific mobs, you want to make one of these, then right-click the mob you'd like to gather data on. So when you're done prop. When done properly, the model framework will turn to the data model of the mob you clicked on. To gather data from that mob, place the newly created data model inside the deep learner and start killing that specific mob with a deep learner in your inventory. Oh my god. Now, I think it will also... The deep learner. I think it will also slowly but surely level up inside the machine. Four data models at any given time. Now it's a little tricky <coughs> because you have to find the mobs first, so they have to exist somewhere. Mm. Repeater's common enough, right? Repeater's common enough that we can slap it into a thing? Sure. Japan, the deep learner, and then a couple model frameworks. One, uh, let's make several. Cool, four to start, I guess. Here we are. Right click on an entity to build a data model. <coughs> now, excuse me, let's see. What do we want to build? Leveling up data models. Once you make your first data model, you need to level it up to be useful. Data models start out with the first tier faulty. You need to 
at least a little bit too basic if you'd like to run some simulations on it. Once placed inside the deep learner, the HUD will tell you how many kills are required to level it up. You can also see this info on the tooltip of the model itself, although you'll have to do the math. Oh my god. A prediction matrix. Nice. We'll need a simulation chamber and 16 prediction matrices. The simulation chamber is the main chamber with the hostile neural networks. When given power, a good amount of power at that, it will run simulations based on the data model that is placed inside. The power required also depends on the data model placed inside and can be seen with the model's tooltip. The machine also requires at least one prediction matrix to run a simulation. The result of the simulation will be output into the ma onto the matrix. Excuse me. Simulations will always produce some kind of generalized production, which can help be used to various crafting recipes. They can also vary depending on the origin of the mob of the data model. If the simulation succeeds, you will receive a mob prediction based off of the model. The higher the tier of the data model used, the higher the success rate for a simulation. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff there, but... Oh, thanks. I suppose we will need those. Uh... And go away, go away. Some of these. Bam. I guess we'll just make a bunch, though. What did we run out of? What did we not run out of there? Nothing? Something? Oh, glass. Fair enough. Cool. That's plenty. Let's make the simulation chamber. Uh, is a comparator a thing you make a lot? Probably. Probably not, right? Not really. A simulation chamber. It's done. Oh, a bunch more. Nice. And then generalized nether, generalized other overworld, and generalized ender. Finally, the loot fabricator. The loot fabricator is the machine that gets you that sweet, sweet loot from mob predictions. When given power in a successful mob prediction, you will be able to choose which item to get the you would like to get from that mob's data model. The machine will remember your choice, so it can be automated. Notable mob predictions, ender dragons for dragon eggs, zombies with iron, withers for nether stars. Not bad. Of course, we have both dragon eggs and nether stars already automated. But, I digress. Let's make the thing. Uh, we'll leave that on. That can come off. This must be made. Another one of these. Comparator. Oops. Yep. Click. I found the bouton. Okay, and we'll go check these machines in the laboratory, obviously. Here you go. You can have this one right here. Boop. Uh, oh, I guess you won't take this until you have a data model. Okay, fine. And then you can have this. Boop. Nice. It holds a little bit of power. Hmm. Neat. And of course we did that, and then that completed another quest for us. Wonderful. Cool, but we'll need to find some stuff. What do we want? The nether's very easy to get to. The more tricksy ones are the more common ones aren't they? Let's see. Cow? We can do cow easy enough, can't we? A cow prediction. A witch prediction. A spider prediction. Pig prediction. Rabbit. Glow squid we haven't encountered at all. Phantom might be quite useful, actually. Guardian might be quite tricky to get. Old skilling bones. Mushroom. Impossible. Zombie, a Vindicator. Some of these we can just go to the other to get. Wouldn't be too difficult. But the water-based ones might be extremely difficult. Self-aware, the highest tier. Hmm. How shall we begin? I'll tell you what we don't need. But the one that would be the easiest to do. the blaze data model. So, do we have a spot for our deep learner? Receive a blaze data model. Bring buckets in which and watch in despair as it evaporates. 
and everything on fire. You are on fire. Everything is on fire. Upgrades to basic and six skills. I think we can manage. We also turn this off. However, uh huh, faulty. Upgrades to basic in one kill. Oh, I think we got it. How we doing? Advanced, superior in twenty-five kills. How many was that? And everything is on fire, and you are on fire. Self-aware in 49 kills. So in this particular situation, super duper easy. Because we're just being fed the blazes. Super easy. Otherwise, we'd have to go to the the nether for these. We still have our belt, which has uh, charms. So they still wouldn't AI to us, but you know. We've got a couple blaze spawn eggs. Eight more kills. Might have even been eight right there. Hard to say. That feels like eight. But a couple more, why not? How we doing? 10 XP's, 10 hearts. Self-aware, cannot be improved, improved any further. 99.5, a pure self-aware node. Nice. All right, as you were. Oh, right, 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 right. Here you go, have some um, gems. Speaking of, we haven't socketed our stuff for these gems, and that is something we were thinking about doing. We also got a couple more levels. Well, such is life. So now, we take this on out of here. Bring it on over here. Plunk into, into uh, the machine. Blaze, self-aware. Receive. Run time. 256 FE a tick. No problem. Engaging. 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 Successful. Producing results. Womp, womp, womp. So we get a blaze prediction and a generalized nether prediction, which can be made into nether based resources. Neat. I'll have that. And then we actually saw that four of these with some end stone can become an end prediction, and that'll actually complete this quest. Outrageous. We don't have a lot of end stone, although we can make it. It's just EMC plus, you know, end essence. Soon now? Soon? Oh, I cleared it. That's right. It's clearing. We told it to do that on purpose. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Incredible. Just like that, we've completed an entire tech tree. Who knows if that'll be useful? We'll chuck them in there for now. And in fact, we don't necessarily need more of those right now. We'll chuck those all in there too. A bit silly. That's not what we're wholly focused on. Cannot begin simulation. Missing inputs. True. A blaze prediction can yield... 10 blaze rods. Nice. Not bad. We'll just toss that onto our 312 million EMC. Not bad at all. Cool. Hostile Neural Networks, an entire chapter complete. Um, we do have to do some more mystical agriculture stuff, but it's just the grinding with our existing things, right? 
Should we make these super apples? That might seem fun. It's probably a good idea to make the watering can as well. We have made some of the armor, mostly just the chest plate. We don't really need the growth accelerators either, or the seed reprocessor, because we're not going too deep. We did it and it was fine. And we've made all of the things, so we're getting everything now. Everything. Yes. Everything. And it's pretty good. We do have one spare space. What was this for? Was there still something we were missing? Well, it's fine. We may eventually run into it again. Bump up against the... Oh, that's right. And we'll be like very sad at that point. Uh, there is a watering can. We do have it on the list to do. Do we have a watering can in our tools? Did we ever make one? Oh, so long ago. I feel like we did, you know, but... Do you see a watering can? I don't. Look, we still have food in here, for goodness sake. We don't even eat it anymore. We are free from the bounds of feasting. Yep. We do have some golden apples, though. Golden apples, you become the other apples. Each one is individually the other apples. Hmm. Hmm. I see. My god. The saturation. Plus the buffs. Not that we even really need the buffs right now. But they exist, and we can make the apples, and maybe it's a good idea. <coughs> we should probably also get into some of the more finger waggling mods. Do I want to make each of these apples? I sort of want to just complete the chapter so it's done. Um, but anyway, that was also an aside that we got a little caught up in. There's quite a bit of AE2 left, most notably the laser AE2 with a resonating crystal. Far enough into AE2 and have a large enough network, it can be a bit boring having some having to continue going through that somewhat time-consuming process of crystal growth and processor inscription bit by bit. Definitely the processors. Enter the Laser AE2 add-on. Laser AE2 mainly provides some machines aimed at streamlining the late game experience of expanding your ME network by greatly simplifying the production of certain crafting ingredients. The first thing you will need to get started with the Laser AE2 is a resonating crystal, can, which is obtained fairly similar to Fluix, except that it requires a diamond with some ender and skystone dust in water to make. Okay. A resonating crystal. Throw in water. A resonating seed. I mean, you say that. We can also just enrich it. And this is just sand and resonating dust, which is... in a flux aggregator. Throwing in water. Oh, this is also in water. Skystone dust, diamond, ender dust. Interesting. Pulse grinder. Ridiculous. Let's make one. One ender pearl, please. Hold on. Ender dust? It already knows. It already knows ender dust. Okay. Skystone dust? I think we have a couple. We might have a couple. And a diamonde. Cool. Uh, now, how do you like to go together? Throwing in water, sure. But can I also... Uh, that's why we know how to make it. Fluix aggregator. Curses. We need the things first. So be it. One bucket of water, please. Do you count? That's not fully submerged. Okay, acceptable. Give me this. Space chip. Prepare yourself. That is a slab. Dang it, I expected that would happen. Measure it. Por favor. Thank you. Boink. Okay. Return. Return. Wonderful. 
you can have this back. Thanks very much. Now we have some resonating dust, which can become a resonating seed. It'll still need sand regardless, it seems, and that's all it becomes. Look at the sand coming in. And glass. Nice. We'll go ahead and enrich. Beautiful. Turn the old mage net back on. A resonating crystal exists. So we might want to make one of these now. Tell me more. Oh wait, we'll need it in our inventory. Resonating crystal. Nice. Get us some stuff that'll make a matter infuser. Interesting. Fuses materials into new resources. Seems good. We should be able to make all of these things. We haven't made a matter condenser yet, actually. Um, maybe this will do the same thing. The first bit of resonating crystal you just made can now be used to make the first machine laser A2 lineage, the matter infuser. Right off the bat, the matter infuser provides various recipes for some simple crafting materials within both A2 and various other mods. These recipes also happen to be cheaper than the usual crafting recipes for their resulting material. Nice. Nice. Like what? Oh, yeah, a little bit cheaper, and is like. Flukes blocks and dust. Skystone for some reason. Red quartz, yeah, sure. I don't really need it that often, but there you go. Vibrant quartz glass. And dye base. Interesting. Sunny quartz. A fluic steel ingot. This is probably what we'll need it for. Structural glass. I guess we'll need to make those eventually as well. That is a much cheaper recipe for quartz glass, I think. No. Because it's what, five of these and then four glass and makes four quartz? I guess it's about the same. Um, this. Cool dust flux dust to silicon. I have a feeling we'll need to put this in line someplace. Okay, we'll make it. The matter infuser. Sure. We'll need a matter compressor. You know what? We might just make two of these anyway. Matter condenser. Uh, we'll need a couple observers. One. Two. And then a couple... Uh, you can go ahead and make that. And we'll make flux pearls. Can you be made back into... Dust? It only makes one seed anyway, right? And then that only makes one, so there's no point. Okay. So this is not the infinite resonating crystal thing. But we'll definitely want to do that. Matter condenser... We'll ponder you. Great, matter infuser. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Got it. And then Flux Steel. More importantly, the Matter Infuser provides recipes for two new materials made exclusively with the Matter Infuser. These new recipes together lead to the creation of Fluix Steel ingots. Fluix Steel is used to craft every remaining machine in the add-on following the Matter Infuser. Gasp. Okay. Where do we have space for you? Do we even want to put you on this line? Do we want to put you on this line? Presumably it will start replacing some of these. Matter condenser. Where would we like to put the matter condenser? I think you need power. Or do you not need power? You just need a thingy and then you need matter. Well, yeah. <clears throat> You'll be in here. This one. Condensing matter. A matter ball. Yep, it's a matter ball, all right. Uh, we'll get a we'll get a storage drive in there. Mm, do you want to do like a sixty-four k? That seems reasonable to me. Begin. That'll be up in a little bit. I think it needs to be a sixty-four k as well. Oh, it's done. And then instead of destroying, 
we produce matter into balls. And then we make a probably just a, a cobble gen of the basic type actually. Yep, it's done. And what if we actually plunked over here for now? Do you go up? I think you only go down. Maybe you do go up. it doesn't automatically at all but we can fix that we can fix it pipes receive and pipe and we'll need to swap it over to the old Oof, she boop there she goes it's going and that will slowly but surely make Condenser balls, matter balls. Um, that being said, we can probably step this up. Hold on, I also want to see if it doesn't, maybe I just wasn't looking. Cobble for days. I could have sworn it auto outputs in one of the directions. It's up, isn't it? That's how this one works? It is how this one works. Of course, it did lose it. Ah, it is up. Okay, this is fine. So, what if we went ahead and how fast do we want matter balls? Real fast, right? Real fast? We want it real fast. Uh, I feel like there's a... Well, it's fine. I feel like there's a quick start to that to make it work, but... A tremendous amount of cobblestone. There she goes. Matter balls. Great, we're condensing matter. Thanks for the stuff. And then, a hyper-condensed matter. Singularity, ender dust, and TNT. We're using 64K storage, storage component or higher. The matter condenser becomes able to condense significantly more to produce a singularity. A single singularity requires 256,000 items to be voided. That's exactly 4,000 stacks. I think that will happen relatively quickly. <coughs> See what happens when you throw this singularity on the ground with a piece of ender dust. You'll have to deal with some damage to the surroundings while you're at it. But thankfully, AE2 offers its own tiny TNT to minimize that. Nice. Hmm. Unless we take it to an indestructible area, say. A small room in another dimension? Cool. <coughs> She's coming along. Okay, we'll leave that going for a time. We'll start making us singularities. Neat. Uh, good. So wait for that. Quantum network bridge. Ridiculous. IE port. IO port. Defragmentation. This might be a good idea as well, but it's pretty whatever. I'm not too sussed. We do need to get into the fluid steel, so we need to hook up the matter infuser. Okay. Let's take a look at the lines. How many are you using? We have one more channel available on this side. So I s 
swore to hesitate to use it. Oh, also, thermal. Didn't you have... Redstone furnace. That's a multi-servo press. We've never made a redstone furnace? We sure haven't, you know. Good lord. One redstone for nice, please. Oh my gosh, we don't know how to make bricks. The troublesome thing is, I think we're out of recipe pipes. Yeah. Uh, we probably don't need more fired crucibles right now. We'll change this into regular bricks. Would you be so kind as to bricks? Brick, 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 brick and bricks. Smelting recipe pipe. We know how to make clay, so we know how to make bricks. And you get bricks. Nice. Let's ask for eight bricks. Uh, we can just do it this way, right? That's, that's a bit. And then it knows how to make all the rest. Gosh, it's good. One redstone for nice. Nice. We'll truck it back in there for now. I don't know if we'll automate that. We have smelting in much faster and also uh, many capacities. Not that we've set this up. Gosh, do we want to do it this way? See, the troublesome thing is this one is on this line. So it also has one space available. Whoa. And theoretically, we're going to reduce these. So we could chuck it onto this line someplace. Say, like, right here. And then move the charger. Say, right here. Do you want to try and do that? That's the wrong thing. Well, I guess it's technically the right thing. If we have some light gray concrete thingies. Yeah, sure do. I will need one of these. And uh, there's one of these. Nice. Bonk. Bonk. Wait, we don't even need that. That's fine. Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference at all. Pow. Okay, now, will you be smart enough? Back. Input. Output. In and out. Nice. Auto extract. Yes. Yes. That is what we desire. Processor upgrades. There are no upgrades installed. allows you to upgrade the processor speed and energy storage at the cost of higher energy consumption. To install upgrades, place acceleration cards in the slot. If half of the maximum upgrades are installed, the processor will be twice as fast and consume twice as much energy. Each upgrade after this will exponentially better but more inefficient. Okay. I like exponentially better as well. And as a matter of fact, we know how to make acceleration cards, don't we? Yes. How many do you take? We'll start with this. You take one, two, three, four. Ooh, we can take up to eight. Well, then, <laughs> naturally, we will give you eight. Oh! <clears throat> nice. 400,000 FE a tick? Gosh. You're not very power hungry or anything, are you? I mean, it is max upgrade, right? Time multiplier, is that five, um, five ticks? Something like that? Ridiculous. All the speed. Okay, cool. Now, making these happens in this. 
we probably can just send it to the enrichment chamber actually right we have a slot but maybe we, mm, I don't know yet we'll figure it out because some of these will start going away in favor of those for the moment however not yet so we need to teach you oh yes thank you uh, did you want to pick up the polarizer well don't mind if I do Pulverizer, pulverizer, here we're pulverizer. And then the induction smelter. Why, oh, that's right here. Great. Done. Even further along. Next. E2, where were we? Yes, we need Flux Steel. Okay. Let's see if we know how to do all this stuff as well. I think for the most part. <coughs> Flux steel? Flux steel. It does not know how to make carbonic flux yet, so we'll need to teach it that as well. Carbonic fluix dust? Oh, but it, it can just go in here. Do we know how to make coal dust? Do we know how to make each of these? No. This is easy enough, right? That's fine. Let's remove... <coughs> we can probably remove those. Probably both of these now. I think you can just craft it. No, apparently not. Okay, we'll clear it. I thought you could just craft it to clear the recipe, but it doesn't matter. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. Okie dokie. Cool. Helpful. So then, you get one of these. Ba bum Alright. So now you know how to make this. You don't know how to make coal dust yet. What's the easiest way? Crushing coal into coal dust? I think the crusher is set up. Crushing factory. Crushing coal dust. Oops, not that. Yep. Okay, and now that will get us. And then fluid dust we just have because we have a bit of it, because we're just making it. Cool. So you go in here as well. Ba -ba! So theoretically now, we can just ask for one of these. It'll whip up several things through various machines. Oh lord. It's not here. Oh god, where's our bottleneck? Did you... Oh. I see what happened here. So since graphite can be enriched from graphite dust, is there another way to make coal dust? that we can automate. Perhaps through a pulverizer or some other machine of this nature. Syngas? We can make syngas. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, coal dust, lazy area 2, through an inscriber. That might be a superior method. Since we don't want to make graphite. <clears throat> I think this will, strictly speaking, not make coal dust. It will make something else. So it will look for a different thing. 
So we'll hop down here, we'll actually cancel this. Thanks for trying. And we'll put it into our multi-purpose inscriber. <laughs> there. Which is currently doing a lot, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll start that up. Bruh. Oh. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Because since we're telling it specifically to use the mechanism dust, it does not know. It does not know! No. Not that one. The carbonic coal one. This one. Not mechanism dust, nay. Coal dust from laser A2. <coughs> Inscribe thyself with inscriptions. And now? Question mark? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Great progress. Um, yep. Yeah. Click, click. And then, let's actually take a quick break before I do this. Let me refill my cup. We'll be right back. Should we put on a record? Do you want to listen to some Melohi action? That sounds good to me. Oh, it's in this one. Yes. Okay, be a rechat. Now we come back to this. This. Hmm. Wretched. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. There was no one there. You clearly saw an actually empty nothing. Cool. Where were we? How was Melohi? Acceptable? Wait. Maybe that's fine. Maybe give me all these discs. Just one of each, obviously. A music disc collection. And backpack collection, apparently. With more music disc playing. Cool. Alright. So, from here. The remaining machines. A pulse grinder. A fluix aggregator. And a circuit etcher. Oh, yes. Circuit etcher. We require you. We'll put each one on the list. Whoop. Whoop. That was on there. Circuit etcher. Okay, now they're all together at least. Sure. Cool. Pulse grinder acts as a standard crusher for the various AE2 dusts. Nothing special in and of itself, but handy enough to delegate frequent grinding, dust grinding too. <coughs> okay, okay. The Fluix Aggregator performs in-world crafting jobs, such as Fluix Dust and Crystal Production, effectively bypassing the process of growing crystal seeds. It also doubles as a charger for Certus Quartz Crystals. Finally, the Circuit Etcher is used to make the processes directly from their constituent raw materials, effectively rendering Inscribus obsolete. <sighs> That's what we want. That's what we want the most. <coughs> the Circuit Etcher. Now, We'll need each of these. A singularity of all things. Where will we even find such a thing? Nani. Whoops. Uh, I think you can just do this as well. Nope. But we just trashed it. It's fine. We'll get more matter balls later. I don't think you really need matter balls for much, to be honest. Matter ball. Because you can put them into the matter cannon. And you can make them into paint balls. And shoot them out of the matter cannon. Oh. Mega storage components needs them as well. Alright, today I learned. Mega storage components. Sure. Just a chill little one million mega storage component. But again, that goes into like, okay, what are we bu bu bumping up against? We're bumping up against types, not total storage. Although you might suggest that some of these types are shared among multiple and you'd have to defrag. We still have a ton of space. We have the majority of these are still not even touched. It's fine. And maybe once we get to that point. Okay, so. We're still working on our 4,000 stacks. It shouldn't actually take that long, but we'll move on to the next thing. Um, <coughs> pulse grinder. Flux logic circuit. We'll definitely teach this to the machine either way. Machine, please learn one of these. You know all of these things. I'm missing. I'm missing. Please to construct. Please to construct for us. Thank. Um, so... No, not that. This. Thank you very much. If we were to make a pulse grinder. Do we not know? Oh, vibrant quartz glass we haven't made yet. That happens in the matter infuser. We'll teach it! Because we can. Nice. Please receive the thing. Now this will probably actually change and go... No, no, no. It's still, it's still made in here, but the coal dust will change from the infuser to another thing, which will pull from this line. We'll start removing these. But before we remove them, I'd like to have each of the different things. Oh, right you are, right you are. Behold. You doing the thing? It's done. It made it extra afterwards. Oh no, 
It's there. Okay, good. We've made a pulse grinder. Nice. A new pulse grind. Biofuel. Okay, interesting. Today we learned you can make biofuel as well. I mean, it's a grinder. Makes netherite dust. Do we need that for anything? Are you actually used for anything besides making back into netherite? Pretty sure it just makes back into netherite. Okay, cool. But good to know that it exists. Sure. Lots of biomass. Biofuel, excuse me. Aha. Resonating dust. Sure. Sawdust. Hmm, I'll make sawdust for us. Not bad. Presumably it'll also take eight um, upgrades. The ender dust. Which... We're still making elsewhere, so I don't think that matters too much. Obsidian dust we're already making elsewhere. Flux dust we just get. So that would be a circular loop of creation. Same. Okay, little triple netherite scrap. Really nothing except coal dust. We might not even need this machine. Strictly speaking. But we've already made it, so... Oh well. <laughs> sure. Cool. Next, Fluix Aggregator. Now this will take parallel processors, which we haven't made yet. Universal press with resonating crystals. So we'll need to teach the system how to make mes resonating crystals then. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, so this is actually good. This doubles it, doesn't it? This is the doubling mechanic. Mm. 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 So we'll need to teach it how to make resonating dust, which is this. And it has diamonds and skystone dust. Is this maybe not the best way to do this? Because we can make one of these, sure, by making one of these, and it'll make two using that method. But since we have these, is it not better to grind these into the dust and then grow them into two more? That's the better way, right? That's just more sand. And it didn't work as well. What you working on, bud? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's that part of the process? This should be fine. Why well, you know? Pretty sure that's the thing. Skystone dust, diamond dust, ender dust, in a matter infuser. Was that not correct? It's entirely possible that that's not correct. A flux aggregator. Oh, that's the machine we haven't made yet. Well, there's your problem. Yep, I sure did make ender dust. Wait, no, no, no. You can still keep. No, you can't. This one, you can't. So we can't make this until we make the thing, and we can't make the thing until we make this. So we'll have to do it the hard way a couple times. Sad. Acceptable. <clears throat> but we still need the universal press. So we're still waiting on the singularity. Let's make some steel while we're at it. Uh, there you are. That should work at least. Hey, bud. How you doing? Um, a bit longer. What if, 
what if thank you what if just just uh, well hypothetical you understand what if we were to accelerate this couple gen tier five and I can't believe I'm even saying that but what if we accelerated it it'd be nice if we could watch this while we're doing it We have to track the rate of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it beyond that? I feel like it is going faster, you know? Because, like, if you look at it and sort of meow, it seems to slow down. Well, anyway, it's about halfway there, so we still have to fill up more time. Hmm. What's this crystal growth core? Okay, okay, okay. We can make some of these. We don't have a crystal growth chamber because we're just doing the, um, Enrichment machine instead, enriching chamber. So we haven't made any of these. Oh. No, let's not make it there. Hmm. Right. Another universal press circuit etcher. We want this bad. This is the one we want. But the universal press. Hey, do we want to make new ones of these as well? Because we just can. Can just make them. Oh, but look, you can just make another one. Once you get the first one, you can just copy it. Run it through the die. Right. Okay, well, we're gonna need some more inscribers anyway, then. Machine. Please to make. Inscriber. Thank again please and one more time thank we'll need another one of these ah yeah yeah there we'll craft the things it can craft and it can't make these oh it's still the steel from our inventory gasp you know what take that take that you scum okay I'll do time once we have the thing once we have a flukes aggregate war um, we can use our existing charger perhaps we don't really use it for anything else right now I don't have a problem with that So we'll just need a couple energy cells. Cool. Oopsie doodle. And then we'll need a crystal growth thingamagum. Right, and we need for that. Ah yeah yeah. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Ah yeah yeah. There you go. And, yep. <sighs> what else? What else here? Uh, these lads. Let's make it direct. They stack delightfully. Yes. And you can make that and that to make at last this. Cool. So we just need a couple of these, <coughs> which does require the universal press, which does require the singularity. Oh my goodness. Unless we had a universal press already. 
which we don't. So we need a singularity, which we started, but a little bit too late. We'll just bunk it a little bit more. What else do we want to work on? I would like to get this done, because that would be really nice. Freeze up some channels as well. Uh, we can also work on running more cable through the floor. Ah, phantoms. Do we want to get a data model for phantoms? No. No. Mod. What is it called? I've forgotten. Hostile. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, we can't go this way anymore. Hello, friend. Would you be so kind as to bonk? You? You? Bonk? Bonk? Right click bonk? Okay, phantom data model. In you get to. Phantom data model seems like a useful thing, because a lot of things use phantom membranes and the only way to get them is killing phantoms or hostile neural networks. Of course, you can fairly reliably spawn phantoms. Oh, we should take off our phantom charms so they actually engage. Nice. Okay, well, we just got a stack of them as well, so, you know, there's that. Cool. Well, either way, some progress there. Oh, Phantom Charm. Hey, you can become... Oh. Oh. No way. Spawner? Little skeleton spawner, maybe? Little uh, cheeky uh, phantom spawner? Hello, well? This is really the way to live. This is the way to live. Silk Dutch pickaxe? Nice. Of course, we can also hit them with the old no AI in silence. Incredible. Well, we've got a phantom spotter now. Maybe we'll put that in the uh, project bag? Question mark? Sure, that feels okay. Any minute now. It's, uh, it's going. Cool. We'll temporarily step aside and make, while we're waiting on these two, let's work on some more industrial foregoing. I would like a black hole tank. Perhaps an advanced black hole tank? 65,000 buckets seems pretty good. Just saying. 65,000 buckets. We can make this. No problem. If we were to say... How high can we go? This is the highest one we can make so far. Nice. Black hole tank, won't you tank? Tank away the pain. Cool. And now, these can change. To a black hole tank. 
please receive fluid XP to the tune of all of it. Can I have a pipes, please? Yes. And then we can start retiring our jumbo tanks. Oh, it'll take a minute. Well, anyway. Nani? You can output? Neat. You can have it push in a direction. If we were so inclined. XP singularity tank? I don't think we need this out anymore, actually. We can go ahead and retire that. The drain. Um, and we will plunk this one back into it at a time. Okay, great. That's a big step up. That's not the ultimate tank with two billion millibuckets. But we don't have ether gas yet, and the creation of ether gas requires over the wither. You read that right. We need to get the actual wither, spawn it in a room, keep it there, Zap him with a laser to harvest his ether gas. Incredible. It's. It doesn't really have a gender, it's undead. Uh, purple laser lens as well. Their gas. Harvest their gas. Ether. Um, I wonder what else this is maybe used for. Infinity nuke. Yeah, of course. Naturally. A mycelial reactor? Really? Is this so high? Does it produce a ton of power from mushrooms? Mushroom power. Reactor. It's a reactor. Mycelial reactor. Oh my god. That's the only other thing. Uh, of course, they can go into the various different tanks and holding things, which can also be done here. Cool. Yeah, that's really it. An infinity nuke, a supreme machine frame, and a mycelial reactor. Reactor. It's not these, the only thing these are used for, right? Wither builder. Yeah, true. Metallurgical mycelial generator. Oh, mycelial generator. These are the generators, and that was a reactor. Mm. Ooh, a reactor. So it's not the mycelial necessarily. That's just like the verbiage. Reactor. Should we read about a reactor while we wait for the remaining 56,000 things, roughly? Um, sure. We love reactors. Especially if they don't explode. Those are my favorite reactors. We could start looking into some of the mechanism reactors, but I'm just, oh god. I'm just not interested, really. I don't want to blow up the world and ruin everything. That's a bad time. Ah. Okay, well, let's take a look at these reactors. Resource production? Is it considered in there? It produces the resource of power? Probably not. It's probably something else, right? Generators, almost assuredly. Reactor. Using the mycelial network, a subspace domain containing a living, living vegetative mass of fungus called mycelium. Yup. This reactor can detect other mycelial generators and generate massive amounts of FE. For this to happen, one instance of each generator needs to be working at the same time. Maybe new technologies can be discovered in the future using this network. What? <clears throat> this sounds like the rainbow generator. Once instance, one, I think it's supposed to be one instance of each generator needs to be working at the same time. So if you're constantly powering all of the other generators, this reactor will produce RF. This is maybe something we could even do, excuse me, FE. This is maybe something we could even do. A biofuel generator, easy enough. What can you burn? Will you tell us? I think you can just anything that burns. Okay. Neat. Or any, like, you can 
um, any plant. Furnace, this is burnables. Slimy is slime. Culinary is food or anything that has a food effect. Potion is the more troublesome one to automate. Disenchantment, that sounds pretty troublesome as well. Ender, um, I think you can just feed it ender pearls actually. Explosives is just TNT. Frosty is ice. Halitosis, this is the bad breath one, which I don't know if you can automate actually. Magma is obviously magma. Pink is just pink things. You can just feed it pink wool and it works. Nether stars, nether stars, quite good. Death is just anything like, yeah, undead stuff. Bones is probably the easiest one because it has EMC. Rockets. We could probably automate the creation of these without too much trouble, actually. Crimed mycelial? Crimson stuff? Presumably? Not sure. But crimson fungus has an EMC, so it could be that. And then here's the metalogic, metallurgic. Liquid meat. Speaking of, I wonder how that's doing. <laughs> probably completely full and backed up and hideous. Um, We've still got a couple minutes, so maybe we should check on it. Bust out our Game Boy? What is it? Crimes Against Nature? How you how you guys doing? Oh no, we turned it off. We didn't turn it off. Did we not chunk load this area? We did. Hey boys. How are you doing? The crew's hanging out in their lounge quarters. It doesn't seem to be spawning though, to be honest. Because I would have assumed that these were just completely full. If this was to continue going. Maybe this still needs... This probably still needs a player nearby, don't they? That's what it is. So since we weren't nearby. I would have assumed ignores conditions is also ignores players, but maybe it's not. What other conditions are there? Besides light, which is also there. Well, that's simple enough. That's just a... I mean, that solves this problem of this not overflowing. We can just be nearby. And if we need to, eventually, we can fix that. Hey, guys. How you doing? Noisy? Awesome. 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 Well. All right. Should we check on the lithium as well? I think we're probably fine there. We can check on the lithium by just checking our storehouse of immense lithiums. Nice. Uh, we've also got lots of HDPE pellets. It hasn't capped out though, so I wonder if something has failed. We can double check it. Let's see if anything is empty or backed up. You're backed up on that. You are empty of... Oh, you're backed up on substrate, though. There. That's that one. Ethylene. Liquid ethylene, which is full. So you're missing oxygen, which is full? Question mark? Substrate. Substrate. Oxygen full. To the right and to the back. But. Receive the oxygen. Qua. There's no way we made a thousand of them with just the oxygen that was in the tank that one time, though. This was surely working, right? We're back stuffed on oxygen. And we have oxygen here, yes, but... We'll tell you what. Don't output to the right anymore. Just output to the back. The cyan. Oxygen. To the back. Oxygen. Oxygen. It is oxygen, is it not? Well, 
that's a curiosity. That's why we check. We figured it out. And this is all running again. Cool. This is still going. This is going great. Yep, 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 yep. How you doing? Still burning up 400 RF attack. FE attack, excuse me. I can't help myself. That's a lot of Kelvins. There could be more, but it's fine. It's mostly keeping up, but it's fine. We're, we're literally avoiding this stuff right now, so it's not a problem. Cool. Checked on the goods. Empty. 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 Nice. We'll need uh, the old wrenchy one more time. We can have that back. We can have these in here. Okay, well, we've learned about the reactor. <coughs> and it's neat, but maybe not quite what we're looking for. Uh, hello, stone cutter. Nice. We're doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. And actually, once this is done, we can just move this on top of that and it'll be fine. Or under it, even. Oh, yeah, how are we... Uh, how are we doing? Almost there. Very close now. We'll put our Game Boy away. <coughs> Should we make a red Qatar in the meantime? Because we can. Good old red matter. It's just dark matter and unobtainium, of which we have in plenty. I don't think it's actually very good. In comparison. I mean, it's great, obviously. in comparison to this hideous thing with its 236.5 attack damage with 9 attacks per second that rages right 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 okay what else thermal any more thermal I feel like thermal we can power through really easy storing fluids there is a fluid cell it's pretty nice. Should we uh, see about making a fluid cell? We don't know how to make an iron gear. That rages. I don't think we'll need to make too many iron gears, but you know what? If we don't know how to make one, we must learn. Iron gear. And you get. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. One of these. Yep. 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 Got it. And then the goods. Nice. All the things. Ba ba da ba. Fluid cell. Cool. It's just a tank. Tank by any other name. Oh my god, a free bucket? Bonus score. A vacuumulator? Energetic infuser? Aqueous accumulator? Tinker's workbench? Alchemical amplifier? Decoctive diffuser? Alchemical extender? Interesting stuff. A lot of different dynamos. Disenchantment? Ugh. Lapidary? Gems? It's pretty easy. Generates power using food. We love gourmand dynamo. Power using liquid fuel. I think that's like, um, what fuels do you take? You take like, uh, there is a fuel from thermal which is made from trees? Tree oil? Which is made from a fractionating still, from resin, from an arboreal extractor. It's resin. Fractionating still makes rosin and tree oil, which you can then burn in a compression dynamo for energy. One bucket to make a hundred thousand RF. 
Now you still call it RF, interestingly, versus FE. Maybe that's why. Uh, compression dynamo, tree oil, creosote oil, refined fuel. I think there's a way to make this too. Light oil and heavy oil, basically from the same source. Tractioning still with crude oil. Or the laser drill. Or just in world, I presume. Okay, cool. The Sterling Dynamo. That's just a regular old fashioned burn the stuff. Interesting, it, it doesn't have the. Um, was it Pneumatic Dynamo? Or it's not on the Numismatic Dynamo. No P. Numismatic Dynamo. This is the Coins one. Make money from cash. these bronze electrum infar we can make infinite indirium coins from multi server press with a numismatic die hmm that's equivalent kind of neat i don't know we can make power from money the classic way Hey, singularity. Cool. Should make another stack of these lads. Because we accidentally have the last one, and then we'll make another singularity. Sounds good to me. Okay, at last, we've made the singularity that we needed for... What was it? This somehow? This. Okay, now we just need the different presses. Very good. Hello, I'm here to rob. Rob, cheat, and borrow. And just like that, each of these are no good anymore. Actually. Cool, we'll just set those to the side. And we'll want uh, this lad. Pow. Universal press. Now we'll need that for the first one. We'll have to just make a couple. So we can just use this slad with this and wait. We want to make this into more of these first. To make more of these. But we need the Fluix aggregator first, which we haven't quite made yet because we need two of those. Okay, we'll have to do it the hard way a couple more times, it seems. Very well which is tossing resonating seeds in water. And we want the other recipe from this. Resonating seed, resonating dust. Making resonating dust with skystone, diamond, ender dust. Right, we'll need to do this a couple times. Check. Hello, we're back. I accidentally Pay no attention to the imbecile in front of you. He knows not what he does. Hold on, wait. Wait, actually, we'll just... Never mind. One more time. Uh, this is actually enough. Right? Right. Have a bucket. Because we need the two. Wait. We do need the two. Look at the sand. In here. Enrich. Thank. These lads. We'll then go into an inscriber with the universal press into the printed parallel circuit. Two of them. Boop. Boop. They're in the system. Okay. And we need two of them for this. 
which will let us make more of them. We need printed silicon. Oh god. Oh god, what have I done? Oh god. Hold on. Hold on, we can make this work. Right? It's this way? Was it this? No? Circuit etcher, which we haven't made yet. Oh, that's fine. It's a block instead of, okay, that's fine. It just makes it cheaper, who cares? Who cares about that then? Bonk. <clears throat> it went in here. Uh, there. Universal press. Wait a minute. Isn't this? Don't look at me. Don't don't do not observe me. It's just smart, right? Yeah, it just doesn't smart. It's smart. It's just it's just smart about it. Unlike me, who is not smart about it. Uh Richtoin. Alright, bud, alright, get on out of there. Hold on, I guess no no no, you do come out. Okay, here, you know what? You can have these back, actually. Change my mind. Um, it's fine that we have an extra, right? What if we need it at some point? Okay, so there's those. So now we need this. Ah! The Fluix Aggregator, which we will put <coughs> here. H here. This comes out. And can go actually into here for now, just for now, along with this one, this one, and this one. And I'll go into here for now, for a moment. They'll come back out in a second. Okay, Flukes Aggregator. Guess what you get? Eight of those. <laughs> nice. Uh, you'll have that. You'll have the I.O. <coughs> Cool. And now Flux Aggregator gets Flux Aggregator recipes. Namely, this. And this. And that's this. But then also, the other one which you haven't made yet. So you can have this, and this, right? Yes. Wonderful. And now we can put this, hold on, yeah, flux aggregator, yeah. Is that the one we taught it, or did we teach it the other one? No, 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 what am I doing here? Two resonating crystals from sand and resonating dust. And this makes resonating dust. Right, 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 right. Yes. That is how we do it. Um, or we could teach it to do it the other way with the resonating dust. Rather than using rather than using materials. Resonating dust. What if you were actually Uh, what if you were actually this? An empty inscriber. We can teach the cursor to resonating dust. Presumably this will not go over to the next one, and so it'll kick itself back. Cinder dust. Resonating dust.
Why do you still know the other one? Do we teach it twice and put it somewhere dumb? Once more. Yes. And it did it, and it made two resonating crystals. So now if we want resonating dust, again, no, 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 no. So let's say we wanted more resonating crystals now, right? So we want 10 resonating crystals. It's missing some resonating dust. Ugh. I want to do it this way because uh, I don't want to do it the other way, but this is the circular way that's dumb. You know what? We'll just do it this way then. You can still make resonating dust with a resonating crystal if you want. That doesn't matter. But I think we will change it back to just this. Uh, although this one is here, right? Resonating dust. Fluix aggregator makes two. Yeah. 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 It'll just be like that. It's fine. All right. Fluix aggregator. Now, a circuit etcher. So now we must teach it. Parallel processors, which are made for the moment. over here. Right? Right, 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 right. This old chestnut. This old chestnut. This old chestnut. No. Yes. We have to remove the press because the press will already exist. It does not receive the press. But now it can't make the circuits because the press exists. Okay, we'll fix that now. Because I believe this will just do all of it. Oh! The remaining machines complete. Because I think this is now smart because it has a built-in universal press. There you go, bud. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So now you get all of all of the subcomponents. You get this. 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 And then you get this, and this, and this, and this. Incredible. So this lad will make all of the circuits for us, all by itself, and should be pretty quick. Let's find out. Not that one, this one. 
Uh, we've got a hundred of those. We're pretty good on most of these. What if we ask for like, hey, just give us like, I don't know, five of these? Oh. Okay. Now that's interesting. You can make a radioactive storage component. And then you can just store the radiation junk in the AE system. That's very interesting. No, but see, look. Yeah. It doesn't need anything. You just give it the various components and Bob's your uncle. Oh, here's our problem, though. We don't have it set up like this for these recipes. We don't have it set up for this machine. There's our problem. Fairly obvious if you just think about it using your brain case, which I did not. So there's my problem. Okay, so first of all, we don't need this one anymore. I think at all. Uh, or this one. We don't need the subcomponents. Or this one. Uh, or possibly this one. And if we do, we'll just fix it. Now it's just smart enough that if you want to make this one, you just actually give it these things. And then uh, this one is these things. This one is these things. This one is these things. Direct. El directo. And this is still made in a flux aggregator. Sure. So you are the flux aggregator, you receive this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And now you get all of these. Considerably less. And we just make it directly. So we want to make like six of those. Uh here. Bam. Oh. Right. Gotta poop them out still. Gotta poop them out. Yes, telephone phone? Nice. Fabulous. And so this is no longer necessary, or rather can be changed to something else. This one's no longer necessary as well. Um, that's not strictly speaking true. Well, no, now that I say that. Oh, sorry, my web accident. Was it all properly engaged? Uh, that's, that's on me, I apologize. Okay, cool dust. We might still want an advanced inscriber now that I say that. We might still want one. I beg your pardon. Grinder, that's the one. Pulse grinder is the thing. Right, right. This makes the things. Ender dust with an ender pearl. And coal dust with coal. Sure. Sure. And then we have two more channels. I think, strictly speaking, we have a third channel as well, but that's okay. Cool. We got a little bit lazier with the E2. I don't know why I didn't want to do the thing, but that's okay. Hey, tell you what. Have some of those. Oh, my God. Outrageous. That's, that's not it. Uh, you can have those and those. Those. 
How we doing? How we doing, eh, you do? Advanced inscriber. Yeah, we sure had one of those. That's that is true. We had that in our hot little paw. Remaining machines. Emmy requester. Hold on. As an added bonus, Laser AE2 provides the Emmy requester as a dedicated Emmy networked device. The Emmy requester is used to keep up to six different items in stock in some arbitrary amounts. Nice. By automatically sending out crafting requests to the network when an item falls below the desired amount. Incredible. This overcomes the usual limit of nine stacks for an Emmy interface with a crafting card by also allowing for higher amount, amounts higher than 64 to be requested for an item in the space of a single entry. Okay, so in example, requester. Okay. Um, yep. Yep. Click. Uh, control click to make the those lads. Memory cards. Can I just get a blank uh, memory card there? This is what I don't like. Can we just get? Can we just get a memory card? Thanks, bud. And we don't have interfaces taught because they don't typically actually need to be made. Okay, and then a requester, I suppose, will go here? Question mark? No, this doesn't even have to be connected to one of these. It just goes on the network someplace. Which I technically guess would be fine there. <coughs> so we do have an Emir requester. Flux crystals, nice. But if we put this say So two channels over here, and actually these will be these two channels here. Bop, bop. Unless these are them, those might actually be them already. Though they're not connected to an inventory, those are the interface, so we just still have two channels available on this particular line. <coughs> and this has quite a few left. We might just plonk it over here someplace. like here request count request batch okay so if we wanted say each of the chips to be held in stock. Not that it particularly matters overly much. But let's say we did want this. I want 64 of those held in stock. 64 of these held in stock. 64 of these held in stock at any given time. And finally, 64 of these held in stock at any given time. And it will request batches of one at any given time. So it should be making these now. Actually, it should be making some of these, several of them, because we don't have them in stock. Is that correct? Who knows? But okay. It exists in any case. Theoretically, that's what it would be doing. Um, we should be able to check these and see that it's requesting it, but maybe it's not. Look, I don't know. We only asked for 64 anyway, didn't we? Yeah. And apparently it didn't keep these.
currently idling. You cooking? They cooking. They're cooking. Nice. Nice, toasting up. Okay, it does work. What a delight. Fun stuff, kids. Okay. Crafting garden. Sure, we've done some of that. Spatial IO. Wild. <coughs> Anything else? We're basically out of time. We've done some automating, though. We're getting a ton of sand. And the sand will eventually back stuff, and they'll be getting a ton of glass. And then the glass will back stuff, and then we'll have glass and sand and stuff in here. It'll be great. <coughs> I don't know if we care about the gravel so much. So terribly much. We can make gravel pretty fast if we need. After all, we could teach the system how to make either gravel, or it might be superior to Crush cobblestone to gravel via the crusher because we have crushing recipes to spare. I don't know that we'll ever need gravel in particular, but we could do that, and that seems easy enough. <coughs> Let's take that off of there, actually. Cool, what else are we working on? Solar panels? We just sort of need to upscale, don't we, for these solar things? just need to upscale. Solar. Ooh. So much. Speaking of, <clears throat> why are these not zero? These should all be zero because of this. What are you doing? What are you working on, bud? <coughs> This should be exporting these, right? All of these should be exporting? Isn't that right? Ah, now it will do it. And this will speed up soon. Right, because these are stocked items. Okay, so we want to tell it to use stocked items, and then when it can't use stocked items, it should craft the items. But since it wasn't making, using the stocked ones, it was, wasn't gonna craft them because the stocked one exists. And theoretically, that will do it. Okay, okay, okay. How many of these do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We only have 9 spots. Goo! I just stopped there, but look at all the things you've got. This should work. Because presumably it will skip if we don't have it. This is fine. It's flashing lights warning, by the way. Gosh. And that'll eventually work? Well, anyway. Yeah, it's doing the gold. It's making the gold and processing the gold and stuff. Cool. Cool. Uh, silver, platinum, both of those are probably good, maybe. We're doing lead. Cobalt, probably not so much. Uh, maybe osmium? Question mark? Aluminum and zinc? Who knows? I mean, worst coming to worst, we just add another one right next to it and do all in all. Probably should. Probably should. Probably should just. What do we want to? Do we want to? Furnace You can just make another right furnace directly? Oh no, it is an obsidian furnace. From an emerald furnace. All the way down. Wait. We've got a gold furnace. Into a diamond furnace. Into an emerald furnace. 
into an obscene chorus, into another egg chorus. We're just showing off. We're just showing off now. Bam. Nice. Um, what are the other things you want for the furnaces? <clears throat> Do you want to see what it does? I think it works best this way. We'll want a couple of these. Because we don't want them to touch. Don't have them touch. Oh god, where did I put it? No one knows, it's impossible to know. Probably put it underneath or something weird. It's behind. <laughs> Standoffs. And then we can put uh, an importer. What is it? An importer with the uh, import bus with. Full acceleration cards? Yes. We need a few more acceleration cards. Uh, a fifth as well, actually. Import. Import bus. Cool. Jobs, hello. How was the rest of the stream? Did it go well? Export bus. Did you solve all of life's quandaries? Did your gun come out as an interstellar criminal? Okay. Export. Boop. We'll import. Boop. Pow, pow, pow. Went great. Ah, oh, you finished it all the way. Nice. Outstanding. Config, input back, output bottom, uh, input back, output bottom, yep. You can probably turn that on as well. I don't know how fast, I don't know if it matters too much. I don't know if we can actually push into the inventory now that I say that. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, but we will want another one of these wireless heat transfer guys and I'm curious to see whether the speed upgrade does anything in the unobtainium furnace because maybe it doesn't and we just have it solid 710 game how many hours would you say it ended up taking up because I hear it was kind of short actually but maybe it's fine what was this called wireless heat receiver wireless heat receiver Cheap block. Oh, a cheap, cheap, cheap block. Three streams, less than ten hours? Yeah. Relatively short. So I don't know if it's worth 60 bucks. Maybe to some people. I mean, uh, it's it's a nice, irreverent game. I also hear that replay value is not super duper high. Monk? Cool. Power. But it did look like a lot of fun. So there's that. Boop. And then, uh, oh, you know what we didn't do though? Carelessly. We didn't put our panel on. Get your panel on. <sighs> Good. 
Good. Nice and clean. Set up all proper like. And you will receive one acceleration card. And what else have you got? Capacity, capacity, crafting. Uh, I don't know if it'll need a... Eh, I guess it will need one capacity card. I'll give it a couple, I guess. Capacity. Capacity. Crafting. Card. No. Yes. Crafting card. Good. So this will be set up the same way. Bonk, bonk, and bonk. And we'll say, just random it, and then use the stuff. Cool. And now we can just output the everything. So what do we still have some of? You there. How do we teach it the thing? Actually, we can just go like this, right? And we have to have a recipe in the system, like it has to know how to craft it to, uh, to export it. But as long as it's in there, it's fine. Here, let's say craft this. I think that's right. Yeah, because we've got them down here. Do you want to keep them together? Is that madness? That madness, Sparta? It is, because we'll eventually run out of stuff. However, it should now be doing the platinum. It is, in fact, descending. Very nice. We'll do silver. No ye silver. And then Tichi. I hold silver. Way down here. Uh, this one though. LOL. <laughs> cool. And that's silver. That'll start going. Uh, we are low on tin, but are we crafting tin? I might have just been working on it. Ooh, we're not doing tin. Incredible that we're not doing tin over here. No ye tin. And crafty tin. We might just be generically low on fundamental tin. Okay, good. Uh-huh, it's all of those. Uh, that's tin, right? That is the tin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're doing uranium. No, we haven't set it up yet, but we were thinking about doing uranium. Right, 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 right. Uranium. We'll just put it on the pile. Put it on the pile. Uranium will be the last one for this slide, I guess. Hello, you want your uranium? Who's uranium? As the classic tale goes. Cool. Then we'll need aluminum. We'll go into the new one. Aluminum, num, num, num. Good. You can have this. We'll start exporting aluminum num 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 num. There she goes. Flashing warning again. And uh, yeah, sure we'll do zinc as well. It'll learn all of them and we'll just auto we'll just be auto processing. We're only doing one to one, but there's just so many it's fine. Nope. Yes. There's just so dang many. It'll be a okay.
Cool. So let's build zinc and aluminum, and we don't have cobalt processing. So I'll get that going, I guess. Might as well. Cobalte. The zinc can go back. Uh, come on over here. Put you in. We'll shift click it in because that's how it works for some reason. I'm just I was curious where it would shift click it to, and it was the center first, and then left, then right. Okie dokie. Uh, to put it in the auto assembler. Now this will only go as fast as the assembler is assembling it as well. And we could probably be lucky. Go down here. Check for which one of these is active. You're shiny. Ah. And we could put acceleration cards in it, because <laughs> but so many acceleration cards for all of these. But it's probably something that we should do eventually. And if we can see the ones that are working on it, at least we'll know that they're the active ones. So these, well, it's pushing, it's pushing to any of these that are adjacent because they're adjacent and available. So it's really the, that's the one that's doing it, the guy inside. Well, it's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. Let's not worry about it too much. It's fine. Cool. Uh, anything else we're not doing? We are not doing, at last, all smium. We'll change that. Now, what this will do is we'll start stockpiling these in large numbers. So we'll need to put void upgrades on all the drawers for those. Because otherwise, they're just going to overflow, which is crazy. Crazy. There you go, bud. Nice. And I think that's all of the metals. And look how fast it's going. It's actually staying on top of it. Uh, how you doing? Uranium? That's good, though. We're down to zero on all of them, and the awesome is going pretty fast. But the uranium is not counting down. Let's just double check. Uranium? Raw uranium. Three uranium pieces. Yes. Y'all working on uranium? It's one of you guys? We're not too sussed. We're not too sussed aside from the fact that we might be wanting to use uranium in this machine, which of course is dead now because it's turned it all into cyanite, <laughs> which we can pull out and shove into our system someplace, presumably. Where would we like cyanide? Ooh, here. It's thematically appropriate as well. Nice. Because it's next to the uranium. That's what the uranium becomes. I was just wondering because there's like there's nothing for netherite, right? Netherite scrap is just scrap, but cyanide, perfect. It is dropping. Okay, wonderful. Good. It's done. We've at last automated this part of this process, which we should have done forever ago, but now it's working. Wonderful. And there's more phantoms upstairs. Well, we'll leave it there for now then. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Then until next time, friends, keep on cooperating. Bye.